Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a game haul video. I haven't filmed like a sit down video in so long, so sorry if this is awkward. I bought a shit ton of games and I wanted to show you guys. Um, these are all the games I bought before going to Japan. I also bought some in Japan and I bought a little bit after Japan. So we're going to have a few video game hauls. So I'm just gonna start with the Nintendo DS games that I have. I bought this Nintendo DS Lite on Depop for like $23. Um, I bought it because even though I have a DS at my mom's, I really, 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 really wanted to play DS games. And so I was like, okay, let me just buy a new one just because it will be easier to find and like stuff like that. So got this. I've hardly used it. I brought it to Japan with me. Um, where else? I've brought it to, I feel like I've brought it around a few places, but I hardly have used this. And inside I have the Japanese version of um, Animal Crossing. And I haven't really played it because I need to study more Japanese because I suck every day. And it's more katakana and I'm really bad at katana. Bratz Girls really rock. And I got this because I collect Bratz games. Honestly, I did start playing this on the plane when I went to Japan. It really wasn't that fun. Um, it's, I have a, apparently I have a Game Boy game in here, um, which is just Bratz Rock Angels, which I, I think I've had like three or four copies of the same game because I constantly lose it and I just buy new ones because they're really cheap to buy used. High School Musical 2, again, it's more for like the Disney collection kind of thing. Um, I tried playing it. It's oddly enough kind of hard, um, which if I was a kid, I don't know if I would even like, if it's hard for me as an adult, I don't even know how hard it would be for a kid. I had Hannah Montana Music Jam. This one I actually played as a kid. Uh, my friend owned it and I never owned it. so. I decided to get my own it is the Cheetah Girls game. Again, I don't even I haven't even played this. I think I just really got this because it was one, it was four dollars, and two, because it's Disney. Um, and it reminds me of my child Cooking Mama, which it was four dollars, right? And then I open it, which honestly you should always check inside the game, especially in the cheap sections, because you can get dripped. Because inside there's the wrong game. Um, I actually looked this up and it is a game by the same company as this, which is Super Paper Mario. And I can't actually play it because it's the Japanese edition of Mario, but it seems really fun. I'm really like, I'm like thinking of getting the Japanese Wii U so I can play Japanese Wii games because I do really want the Wii U. But we do have, like, so basically I have a Wii, I don't have a Wii U. So, I want to have both, if that makes sense. I don't know. Again, like I said, I collect Bratz games. So, I got this game, which is Bratz Kids. Literally. It's, it's supposed to be, like, a Super Mario type of, like, party game for kids. Final Fantasy X. Two Kingdom Hearts games. I have Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2. I actually played some of Kingdom Hearts 1. Uh, because... Yes. Familiar with the PlayStation controller, there's an O and an X. And in Japanese PlayStations, the O is enter and the X is back. And in American ones, it's switched. Fun fact, I've only played Kingdom Hearts and stuff as a kid on a Japanese PlayStation. So playing it on an American PlayStation is actually really hard. I keep losing because like muscle memory, horrible muscle memory. And that's also another reason why like the next game I'm going to show you, it's been so hard for me to get into it. And maybe I'll just stream it so that it'll be easier to get into it. But <laughs> So for our anniversary slash Valentine's Day, John actually got me the Xbox One version of Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> I do not have a PlayStation 4 and John owns an Xbox One. So it was the smartest choice to get the Xbox version. But <laughs> again, I feel like constantly whenever I use the xbox that the buttons are broken but really it's that i remember the buttons backwards and i have to like force myself to remember it so if you guys want me to stream this game so i will actually play it let me know a few games in here and this is actually just a cookie box that we got yes man but i've been putting my loose games in here and some of these games if you have seen some of my previous game hauls, these are like repurchases because I don't have them in this house, so I rebought them. And also, they were in lots and stuff. So, 
I got all three of the Lizzie McGuire series. I have Lizzie on the go, Lizzie 2, and Lizzie 3, which are literally, like, Lizzie 2 is actually one of my favorite, favorite games on the Game Boy Advance, so this is great. These two... Uh, I didn't even really, I didn't like this one even as a kid. I had this as a kid. I didn't have one as a kid, but I had this as a kid. And was, just, <laughs> two is the best. Like, if you're gonna, for some reason, you want to play, like, Disney Channel games, I would say definitely go for it. Let's see more. Just, just letting you know. What? Oh. Like, just letting you know. It's the best out of the lot. Another game that I had as a kid and I really, really like is That's So Raven. Um, it's, it's a really good game. I think there's also That's So Raven 2, but I'm not sure. I got this, which I, I never had as a kid. I like was very, it piqued my interest and I wanted it. Um, this is The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody. What is it called? Tipton Casper. Let's look at that. But excited to try. I haven't even played this one at all yet. Um, and then this is another one I didn't have as a kid, um, but it's part of my, me collecting Bratz games. It's the original Bratz game. So, which I played a little bit of, and it's kind of like a dance, like, mini game type thing. It's, and apparently it's also a PlayStation 1 game, so I assume it's just one of those general kind of games. These aren't the most, like, cult favorite games. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.